Hello friends. In the previous episode, we studied about fertilization, types of fertilization and test tube baby. Today we will try to understand oviparous and viviparous animals. Animals exhibiting internal fertilization may be oviparous or VV Paris. Based on this criteria, animals can be broadly classified into VV Paris and OV Paris animals, provided they are having internal fertilization. VV Paris animals. Animals which give birth to young ones are called VV Paris animals. Dog give birth to puppy, human give birth to baby, cat gives birth to kitten and so on. In these examples, the young ones are very much similar to the adults when they are born. Oviparous animals. Animals which lay eggs are called oviparous animals. Eggs are laid and incubated by parents. What is incubation? The process of brooding eggs by the parent in the process providing ideal circumstances or environmental conditions. Some examples of egg laying animals are bird, lizard, frog, snake, etc. Housefly lays eggs. Baby crocodile hatches out from the egg. Duck with the eggs. There is a very interesting question. Do all birds lay fertilized eggs? That is what we have to explore. An egg is made from inside out. The yolk is made first around the ovum. Later, it is wrapped in a layer of egg white before being neatly and beautifully packaged up in a, into an egg shell. The beginning of an egg is the tiny ova which takes a week to grow into a proper egg yolk. When the yolk is ready, it is released along the oviduct. In birds, Eggs are laid irrespective of mating taking place or not. Hence there are three types of eggs laid by the birds namely fertilized eggs, unfertilized eggs and yolkless eggs. Fertilized eggs are formed when mating takes place that is when the male deposits the sperms into the female genital tract and the ovum is fertilized. The eggs thus formed on incubation will hatch to produce chicks. Unfertilized eggs are formed when mating does not take place. Irrespective of whether mating takes place or not, ovary releases ovum and the ovum descends down the oviduct and is transformed into an egg resembling a fertilized egg in total. The unfertilized eggs thus formed will not yield chicks on incubation. They simply get rotten. Yolk-like eggs are formed when any tissue or material travels through the oviduct, thus stimulating the oviduct to produce the egg without yolk. But rarely we come across the yolkless eggs. As far as taste, nutrition, texture or any other physical properties, there is no difference or advantage to a fertilized and an unfertilized egg. Another interesting fact about the eggs. If you find a blood spot inside an egg, it does not mean that the egg is fertilized either. 
a blood vessel rupture at any point in a hen's reproductive tract or a result of vitamin A deficiency or some genetical reason or some random occurrence, a blood spot may be packed into the egg. People may think so because fertilized eggs develop veins around day 4 of incubation but it does not look like a blood. The structure of the oviduct in fundibulum place for reception of ovum for fertilization. It takes around 15 to 30 minutes. Magnum Synthesis and deposition of albumin it takes roughly 2 to 3 hours. Isthmus, synthesis of two shell membranes. This also takes 2 to 3 hours. Uterus, synthesis of egg shell. 18 to 26 hours. This is the whole process that happens for the formation of the egg. Thank you.